Two of the following videos are right, true, while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. First up, take a battery and attach strong magnets to the bottom. Then bend some copper wire into a shape like this and gently place it on top. Right. You'll start to notice it spin around. This works because current flows oh, from the positive yes. to negative terminal of the battery. Neodymium is a strong magnet too. But yeah, it's the old uh, right hand rule. Point your thumb in the direction of the current and then rotate your fingers to uh, figure out the direction of the magnetic field. As current flows through the copper yep. wire, a magnetic field is created around the wire. This magnetic field is then opposed by the magnetic field of the neodymium magnets at the bottom, which creates the motion. Nice Did you balance. know you can actually- Yeah, we have to uh, take into consideration electric and magnetic fields all the time when positioning our electrical components at a nuclear power plant. We stack three dice on top of each other like this. The second one's pretty easy to get, but the third one takes a bit more practice. Once you get it down though, it's pretty easy to replicate. Not sure I have the dexterity to do that, but I know it's possible. <laughs> You're not violating any gravitational principles here. No glue necessary. Plastic pen caps are able to hold charge very well. Simply rub the cap to it's the plastic. pen body for a little while, and when you release the cap, it'll be attracted back to the pen. <laughs> You've now seen all three videos. It's gotta be number three, come on. Plastic cap and he's doing a little pinch trick. Pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Although this one seemed fake, it's actually real and so is stacking the dice. That okay. means this one's fake. I actually pinched my fingers which sends the cap flying and I did it a few times until it landed. <laughs> I've seen some people play with pens like that in elementary school. 